Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about the daily lead code challenge for 4th of January and the problem's name is uh, minimum rounds to complete all tasks. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed integer array task where task i represents the difficulty level of a task. In each round you can complete either two or three tasks of the same difficulty level. Return the minimum rounds required to complete all the tasks or return minus one if it's if it's not possible to complete all the tasks. Then they have given us a simple array and then we have to return the minimum number of rounds required. So let's understand what are the things given us to the, in the question. So it says that the uh, in a single round we can either complete two tasks or three tasks, right? So there there is no way we can complete a single task. So let's say if, if we are provided with a task, uh, like, uh, like we are provided with a single task, then we'll have to return minus one. So over here the same thing is happening for difficulty level 2 only one task is present and hence we had to return minus 1. So that is pretty easy to understand what if we are having two tasks. For two tasks I can return 1 because I can run a task. I can uh, go in a round and I can process two tasks in that particular round. For three I can run a round a single round I can process three tasks in that round. So that's also fine. What about four? For four I can have two rounds of two and two each. For five I can have Two, uh, two rounds of 3 and 2, for 6 I can have 2 rounds of 3 and 3. To generalize what I can say, the number of uh, tasks I can have could be 3k or it could be 3k plus 1 or it could be 3k plus 2. Where k could be anything from uh, like 1 to n. So any number could be given to k, uh, to k itself. Now going ahead how many rounds would be required for 3k? For 3k, I will require exactly k rounds because in every round, I will process 3 tasks and at the end, 3k tasks would be pro uh, would be processed if I go for uh, k rounds. What about 3k plus 1? So, if I use k rounds and process 3 tasks in, it, uh, in each of the round, then one would be left alone and we cannot process one task individually. So, we won't be able to compute all the tasks. So, what can otherwise be done is that I will process k minus 1 rounds with 3 each. So, a total of k minus 1 round would host th 3 tasks uh, in each of them. So, I will then be left with a total of 4, four tasks because 3 tasks would be re uh, remaining from this and 1 task would be remaining from this. So, it will be a total of 4 tasks. For 4 tasks, I can simply say it is 2 and 2. That should work fine. Over here also, what I can say is that, okay. So, over here, I can say that I will complete k minus 1 tasks or k tasks with k rounds with 3 tasks each and then complete a single round with 2. So, over here the number of final rounds I require is k. Over here the number of final rounds I require is k plus 1. Similarly, over here the number of final rounds I require is k plus 1. To generalize, I can say that the number of rounds I will require. So, for example, if I add plus 3 or plus 2 to every one of them, then what would happen? If I add plus 2 to them and then divide by 3, so the answer would remain unchanged. If I am taking in uh, like integer division, uh, integer division, the answer would remain unchanged. This is because when I will divide 2 by 3, the answer would be 0 point something and it, it would be considered as 0 in integer division. Uh, when I will be adding 3 divided by 3, so it would be 3 and when I will divide it by 3, then I will uh, then I will be getting 1 and that is exactly what we want for k plus 1. Over here, it would make 5, so it was already 2, then I added 2, so it would make 4, yeah, so it would make 4 and when I will divide 4 by 3, I will be getting 1 point something, so I will add 1 to the answer and that should suffice the constraints I need. So, with that, I guess the concept is cleared. Now, let us try to code it up. So, I can say, uh, give me an ordered map so as to keep a task, uh, keep a track of all the tasks which I have. So, let us call it, call it MP or count. Then I can go to each individual task for task and tasks. I can say count task plus plus. Then I can iterate over the map. So, a map has two values, a key and a value. So, on this key value pair that belongs to task, if the value is equal to 1, 
then I have no other op option I cannot process it so I will return 1 I will also declare a variable let us say result result is equal to 0 and in result I will add uh, so v is the value v plus 2 divided by 3 and in the end I will just return my result let us see if this works ok it is giving some errors Okay, I had to mention count over here, mistakenly mentioned tasks. Cool, it works for simple test cases. Let us try running it. Cool, this works. So, it works for all the test cases. The code was also pretty small. So, I got, I think there is uh, no doubt in this. Let me know if you still have a doubt in this. I will be more than willing to help you out with that. Thanks a lot, guys.